what is up you guys today i'm gonna be explaining graphs i see a lot of beginners struggle with this so i'm gonna tell you how it works so without further ado let's get started so the first graph you need to know about is the ease in curve this is for the second half of the transitions so when it's like a zoom out transition for example the second half how it scales from being large to small the second curve that you'll need to know about is the ease out curve this is for the beginning part of the transition or the exiting part of the transition so take example the first half of the zoom out where it goes from being regular size to going small and it does that kind of scaling and when these two curves comes together that is what creates the zoom out transition altogether the next set of curves you'll need to know are the retiming curve and also the S graph. So for the retiming curve, that's used primarily with time remapping, as I showed in my previous tutorial. And this is how you get that motion where it'll come in fast, be slow in the middle, and then exit fastly. Same, same kind of thing. For the S graphs, this is for I would say rapid movement also for fake zooms so this can also be used in time remapping but it can also be used for transitions peach has a tutorial on this all about s graphs i'll leave the link down below so we're gonna do a few examples of each of these graphs so for the ease in curve as you can see we have a transform node here and if we just simply zoom this in, go here, zoom it out, go to the spline, select everything, and your ease in curves will usually look like this. And from time to time, sometimes this graph can be flipped. So even if these points usually would be up here, it's the same thing. result of your ease in curves something like that for your ease out curves it's pretty much the opposite so say I've put this to 1.5 this is kind of a zoom method PH showed in his new basics tutorial I recommend going and checking that out so so you scale it to 1.5 at the beginning and put this down to 1 one select everything and then make pretty much the opposite graph so this is the ease out curve and this is just going in the direction towards the end of the transition because ease out ease in basically the same concept it's just always going to be an ease in and then an ease out and each one of these will be how you transition between clips so for the ease out look something like that that's the start of a zone second clip and put these things together so like i said before we can make a ease in curve so scale this all the way up and we'll make a zoom out transition and here we're going to do the ease in curve like this So here, I'm going to show you the retime curve and also the S curve. So on this clip, it might be a bit of a bad example, but pretty much, so let's just say, we go to the end here like this. It doesn't have to be all the way, but if we go to the spine and adjust it, We'll be adjusting it like this, like I showed before. Something like that. And then pretty much the motion in the middle is supposed to be slow. It's supposed to be fast at the beginning and fast at the end. That also creates like a velocity kind of transition. Of course, you would want to add other things on top of that, but this is pretty much how it works. Something like that. I've already created an S graph, so 
this graph pretty much demonstrates the rapid motion at a particular point. So for certain things, it's good to go three points behind the main point and then have the slope of the graph be directly on the point. So the most steepest part of the graph goes where your marker should be. So it should look something like this. work if you have any more questions comment down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and this explanation a few people have asked me for it so here you go uh, be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one